this is James from Michael Ching. Thank you for joining today. So I don't know if you can see, but today is a glorious day. Um, it might even be the warmest day of the year so far. So if you're lucky, we might hit the, the mid-20s. Uh, it was like this yesterday, but uh, today is also a perfect day for going out on a spring trip. So today I want to show you a new activity. I'm sure all of you are familiar with pick your own farms. I remember when I, when I was a kid in England in the 1980s, the 90s, uh, I used to love spending the summer days uh, just on the, the local pick your own farm and we picked these strawberries, raspberries, gooseberries, you name it. And when we were done, you know, we'd take our friends and family along with us and you know, we'd just weigh them there and then. We buy some local ice cream and you know, towards the end of the day we just eat them together you know, at the farm. Yeah, and I used to love those days. Um, you might not know that actually uh, people do something similar here in Chongqing as well. So kind of in and around the city there are lots of these pick your own farms. But they're well hidden away. So I did a search on Baidu and I found a, I found a good one that's in Gula Mountain. Now recently we did a vlog at Nanshan, but like Nanshan is kind of on the eastern side of Chongqing, but Gulashan is on the western side in Shapingba district. So we're going to take a drive up into the mountains and we're going to spend the morning there picking some strawberries. And I think the principle should be pretty similar to uh, what we do in England. Uh, there isn't really an entrance ticket or anything like that, we just park at the farm by the side of the road. We go in, we pick the strawberries, uh, we weigh them and have a certain price uh, for, the, uh, for the gin. So that's just a Chinese unit uh, and it's roughly about half a kilogram. So I caught them yesterday because you know sometimes they get really popular in the springtime here and a lot of people flock there and by the end of the day they don't have any strawberries left. So I did remember to give them a call yesterday. So the first thing I wanted to ask was, of course, uh, were they open? Because I know a lot of places are now open after the outbreak, but uh, it's always safe to check because it's going to be something like a 45 minute drive there. And yes, he said they're open today. So that was good news. And also, secondly, uh, were there any strawberries left <laughs> to pick? He told, the guy told me that there weren't like a huge amount of strawberries because they have had a lot of visitors there. But I did say, you know, is there enough there for like one or two uh, kids? Yeah, I'm going to take my uh, daughter with me today, a younger daughter. And yeah, he said Sh there should be plenty for that. So as long as not buying like a huge amount of strawberries, so sh we should be fine. Okay, so I'm going to walk to the car and perhaps on the way there, we'll stop at some viewing platforms if we can find any. Uh, but uh, other than that, I'll see you when we get there. Catch you later. Okay, so we've just entered Lushan, so we're going to climb up the mountain here. I really enjoy the, the drive of Nanshan. But it's also in Gulashan as well. And I suppose here the road is a little bit uh, more windy than it is there. It was a really nice drive up here, and it wasn't too far either. Maybe it took us about 35 minutes to drive here. There wasn't much traffic. So behind me here, we've got the pick your own farm. So we're going to go and pick some strawberries. It's really, really quiet here. I don't think there's anybody else here at all. So we can see all the strawberries are in greenhouses. I can actually see a little strawberry over there. Let's go. Okay, catch a little picture here. Yeah, just look at that juicy one here, look. Okay, this is gonna be great. Yeah, so all of these here are strawberries. I think those are as well. In fact, I think all of these greenhouses are strawberries. So I've got my uh, daughter with me here. So she's gonna absolutely love this. And I'm gonna love this as well, because like I said, when I was a kid, I used to love spending the summer days uh, back home in England, you know, picking strawberries and then just uh, eating them there with the, uh, with the ice cream. Yeah, there was not much uh, better than that in those days. So you can see here, it's basically 50 rand per gin. Uh, the original price was 68. Yeah, the gin is roughly about half a kilogram, so maybe about 10 UK pounds per kilogram. That's if you pick them yourself. So if you get the, uh, the staff here to pick them for you, they only cost 35 rand per gin. We're going to pick up a basket each, so we're going to have a look at them here. Yes, sir. Let's come and get a biscuit. Yes, sir. Right, she's going to love this. 
Is that? Who's that? Who's that? It's a basket. Okay, we're going to go pick up some strawberries. Uh, and we can see over here. Um, we're going to ask him which tent has the most uh, strawberries for us to pick and then when we're done we're going to bring them here and go and read them on this. Okay, so I think in this tent here, the owner has told us uh, we have lots of strawberries. So we're going to uh, step over here, we're going to go and pick some up. So let's see what we can find here, we've got some here. Alright, so let's get Carissa to pick one. So Carissa, Carissa, we're going to go and pick a strawberry. See this one here, Carissa, look. And she's going to pick it and pick the strawberry. It's a strawberry, can you pick it? And you put it in the basket. There we go, that's a good girl. Yeah, but you want to pick some nice ones. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice strawberry. Don't you pick that one up? There we go. Uh, a few other people have arrived, but um, even so, we've still more or less got the, uh, the place to ourselves. So we're going to uh, continue picking strawberries and in a while, I'll show you how many we, uh, how many we get. There must be over 20 of these greenhouses. All of them about 50 meters long and all uh, full of strawberries. So there's definitely no short shortage. So this first tent here is, or the first greenhouse is number 12. So we also find out exactly how many of these they have here. So you can see here, this one must be about 30, 40 meters long and there's about eight rows, about eight rows of strawberries. And all of them are like this, and this is not even the biggest tent. Here's another one. Now this one's really long. Wow, I mean, I reckon this one must be about 60 meters long, something like that. So we're gonna walk between these two greenhouses here. So hopefully you're getting an idea how big this place is. Remember back in the days in England, um, it wasn't quite like this, we didn't use greenhouses so much. Um, just really near my home, you now across the main road, there was, I don't know how many uh, acres, maybe a few uh, hundreds acres uh, worth of uh, pick your own farm there, but it was all open air in those days. Yeah, but at that pick your own farm in, in England here, the place was huge, it just went on. I just went to like a, uh, at least a, um, a kilometre or two, no, full open space there. But uh, so far so good, so let's see how many strawberries Chris has picked up. Let's have a look. Wow, look at all those strawberries. The strawberries. And this is the last, these are the last two, so uh, we've got greenhouse number 21 and 22. Or oh, did us to be too soon? No, no, there's a 23 over here as well. Oh, there's another one over here. This is uh, greenhouse number 24. Yeah, so I keep switching between greenhouse and tent, I suppose, all to make my mind up, really. Okay, so it's uh, time for us to weigh the strawberries and uh, get them paid for. So we're going to uh, show you over here. Yeah, cheese. So what do you say about the tomato? The double da, the onion, the one, the da. Right. So uh, what's even better is uh, they don't use any pesticides on these, so these are really like uh, clean, healthy strawberries to use. Oh, okay. So we're saying we use uh, garlic, uh, garlic to kill the bacteria. Oh, okay. Yeah, and also to uh, get rid of the the bugs as well. So we can see here on the scale. So these weigh, okay, it's so about nine hundred, uh, about nine hundred grams. Of course, including the uh, the basket as well. Okay, so uh, this is about ninety yuan's worth of strawberries here. It isn't uh, too bad. Okay, so good to uh, get these paid for. So do you want to uh, pay for them? Okay, and uh, here we could use WeChat or Alipay to pay for it. Okay, so Landy's just going to scan one of those. Oh, right, okay, so we get to keep the, the baskets as well. Yeah, I just wonder whether we put them into a bag or something like that. But yeah, taking the nice basket is really good. Okay, and you can see here also Chris is uh, really keen on taking them home with us. Okay, so that's more or less the, the end of the experience for us. Um, we haven't been here very long, maybe about half an hour, 40 minutes, something like that. But the process is pretty much what I expected. Yeah, you just come here, there's no entrance fee. 
Yeah, you just uh, pick out as many strawberries as you like, you weigh them, then you uh, pay for them. So we've been charged about 50 yuan per half kilogram. Okay, so roughly about £10 per kilogram. I suppose that might be a touch more expensive than I would pay in the UK. But uh, even so, it doesn't matter. I mean, the, uh, the strawberries have no pesticides on them, so uh, we don't have to worry about that. And uh, we'll take them home. Yeah, we'll suppose we'll eat some of them with some ice cream. And uh, Landy also told me she's going to make uh, some of it also, also into some strawberry jam as well. So I've got that to look forward to. But I nearly forgot. No, uh, I want to tell you how good these strawberries are. So this is the uh, the basket we've just paid for. So we're going to take one of these out. So which one do I think looks tasty? Uh, so I think I'm going to try this one. Okay, so just show you here, here it is. Of course, I don't want to eat it uh, straight away. There's a little uh, tap, a little wash basin over there. So let's go and uh, give it a wash and then we'll eat this one up. So here we are. So we're going to eat this one up and I'll tell you what it's like. Uh, it tastes gorgeous. It's really sweet, it's like really juicy. All right, I think in a moment I'm just going to go and eat some more. I suppose we could just uh, sit here. I mean, we've got some tables and chairs over there. So actually, what I really fancy doing is just, uh, no, it's all going over and have a sit down, chat for a little, chat for a little while, relax, and eat some more of these strawberries. Yeah, these are all, all really nice. Yeah, so if you're in uh, Chongqing and you, know, you have some transport available, then yeah, this is definitely a place I would uh, recommend you come. And I suppose um, I'll also ask the, the owner here, I mean, if you don't, have you in common? I suppose you could also get a, um, a taxi here. Uh, no, no, yeah, yeah, when you say, look, what's up, me, you're sitting there, sure, take a different hobby, how I'm a hobby. Now, number one, three, Jenny, she just saw you say, why go you could look what I told you, me, you're sitting there, sure, come on, some of them go like a man, 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 some <笑><笑> okay, yeah, so we've just been saying then, uh, if you live in shopping bar, kind of in the, uh, in the city, um, it's still quite easy to get up here. I mean, if you're in shopping bar, you said it costs about 20 to 30 yuan. It's only about maybe three pounds, uh, UK pounds to, to get here. Uh, I don't know, maybe four US dollars or something like that. And it doesn't take long here, maybe about 15 minutes for our shopping bus centre to, to get here. And they also said as well, uh, once the taxi driver has left, if you want to go back, you just want to take a short walk down to the nearest town, it's not very far. And uh, from there, yeah, there are, there are some uh, taxis you can get from there. So you don't need to worry that you're going to get stranded here or anything like that.